KO the base here. We lit tonight. Y'all come through, man. Y'all know how we gonna show up and show out. See y'all all in the building. <laughs> what's good with y'all man smash the like button subscribe to the channel share the video turn on your notifications catch me live monday wednesday and thursday night at 7 30 and if i miss one of them shows i just might pop up on your ass and that's what we doing today we popping up on a friday we popping up on a Friday. It's your boy KO. It's your boy Knockout. You know what I mean? Knockout Boxing. Knockout Boxing 86. KO 86. Whatever you want, call me, bro. We here for a special afternoon edition of Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Let's get straight to it. Let's see who we got in the building, man. Smash the like button, man. Smash the damn like button. Donate to the channel, man. Hit that cash app. Hit that super chat. We need y'all support. We got to keep the lights on. Channel members. I shot three more prediction videos today. They will be dropping for you later tonight. Uh, shout out to Quipsy in the building. Shout out to Nuke Rude Boy in the building. Nuke was having it. Hunter on the hunt. What's up with it, man? Salute to you. We got all things in the building. Courtney Thompson. Crush the legend. JDM. Savage Bo, what's happening with you? LaMarcus Robinson, Boxing and Barbecue. Eric B, I see you, bro. My homie LaRon Jones, what's good? Creole Traveler, what's happening with you? Miss Swervo, what's happening? Yep, it's rare, but we here. We weren't able to do Wednesday, so I got to make it up to y'all. Uh, Not me, what's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you caught that title? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you caught that title. You see? You would know what not me is talking about if you was a channel member, bro. If you would join the channel like not me, if you would join the channel like Cash Crypto and LaRon Jones, not only do you get five predictions, you get inside jokes and shit. You get inside jokes, man. Join up, bro. Donald Favors, what's happening with you? Tyrell, what up? Where's Pacheco and Hitch's predictions? I shot him today, Tyrell. You know I got you, Tyrell. I can't leave you hanging. I can't have you pay your membership fee and not give you those fights. They coming. I got them uploading right now, bro. It'll either be later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. They'll drop for the channel members, bro. I got you. I'm literally, I'm literally putting the intro with the videos right now and downloading them on my phone right now, bro. Like legit, no bullshit. Legit, no bullshit, bro. 
I'm not even bullshitting with you. As a matter of fact, here, I can show you. I can show you, Tyrell. Watch this. Watch this. Let me show you. Let me show you right quick, bro. Because Tyrell, I got your back, Tyrell. I ain't going to have you waste your money, man. You ain't going to waste your money over here messing with Knockout, bro. I promise you that. Look. There go one of them right there, bro. <laughs> There go one of them right there, bro. They, they uploading, Tyrell. As soon as they do, I'm going to get them up there, man. What is this tank protection now? What are you talking about, bro? T but salute to my homie, True. Teach, what's happening with you, man? Creole the Traveler, what's up? Devon McLeod, what's happening with you, bro? Best dad that was happening, bro. I won't miss this live. I appreciate you, dog. Mr. Davis, I know you be working, so I appreciate when you can come through, catch the playback, all that shit, man. Mr. Davis, what's happening? No fly zone. What's up? Tank Williams, I see you, bro. Icon Canadian, what's happening? Big Braille, what's up with it? Big Braille Silver, what's happening? We're going to talk about it, Teach. We're going to talk about that fight. I promise you we're going to talk about it, bro. I got you. Delil, what's happening with you? Delil, I see you, bro. DP, are you with me? What's up, man? Philly Bull, what's good? Sanction Boss, what's happening with you? Big Supreme, what's up, Big Supreme? Fight gang, what's up, man? DC Dre in the building. I think that's everybody. Look, man, I, I started the stream laughing because I'm looking at something right here. Edgar Belonga posted in all caps best super middleweight in the world. Best super middleweight in the world. That's what Edgar Belonga called himself, bro. The level of delusion. The level of just bullshit. Let me see if I can just off the top of my head, bro. Off the top of my head. Beck the Bully is better than him. Jaime Munguia is better than him. Diego Pacheco is better than him. David Benavidez is better than him. David Morrell is better than him. Canelo Alvarez is better than him. Caleb Plant is better than him. David Benavidez is better than him. Christian Mbile is better than him. Trying to think of some more. I think Vladimir Shishishki is better than him. That's like 10 off the top of my head. And if I dug a little deeper, I could, I could, I could do, I could do more, bro. I could do more. But this idea that Edgar Berlanga is the best super middleweight in the world. That's that bullshit, man. He got to put down whatever drugs he's smoking. Bro, Mbile will beat the dog shit out of Edgar Berlanga, bro. Mbile will beat the dumb shit out of Edgar Berlanga, bro. He will get inside on that motherfucker and tear him the fuck up and do him dirty, bro. Do him greasy, dog. So I caught that right before I got live. That shit made me laugh, bro. But let's get straight to it. And the panel's open today, man. I got the link up there, so anybody want to join them, man. Panel's open on this Friday afternoon. I'm just going to cook, and uh, we can cook together. Whoever want to come up, you can come up, bro. You know, smoke is always in the air with me. If you want to smoke, just say the word. Look, bro. The homie Nuke posted something that Michael Fox said. Michael Fox said, Tank Davis hit harder than Tim Zoo. I don't like that Michael Fox say that, bro. I don't like that he said that. I don't like. I'm tired of the conversation around Javante Tank Davis always being about his power, bro. Goody the Great, what's happening with you? I'm tired of the conversation always being about his power, bro. Nah, fuck his dreams, boxing and barbecue. That motherfucker, boy, stop. Him saying that is like me saying, yeah, bro, I'm a bigger channel than for none, bro. That's how delusional that shit is. Yeah, my, yeah I got more subscribers than showbiz the adult bro my channel bigger than his bro now you can't just say shit what's up just dude you can't just say shit that don't make no sense bro you know what i mean like you can't just be delusional you could think you better you could think that you beat them hey i beat everybody you know what i mean but you can't just say i'm i'm the best in the world bro you ain't never won a title you got dropped from top rank you lost to Steve Rose for real. You lost to that Argentinian dude for real. You ain't look, you don't look good in the ring when you fight, bro. 
You can say, look, if they give me an opportunity, I'll whoop their ass or some shit. But you be looking like trash when you fight, bro. Jado, what up? But anyway, back to back to this Tank Davis shit. Listen, bro, I don't like that Michael Fox said that, bro. Self-belief is the prerequisite to everything in life, KO. You know that. But I, self-belief and delusion. I'm a millionaire, y'all. I got a billion dollars in the bank right now. I'm just going to start saying shit. It's all good, Pearl. I'm glad you called it too. But listen, bro, I don't like Michael Fox saying that because that's all people want to talk about when it comes to tank, bro. That's all they want to talk about when it comes to that young man, bro. It's his power. And I think that does him a disservice as a boxer, bro. He does so many other things good in the ring, bro. To great in the ring. Best dad ever said he only said it because it was that. Yeah, I know, but it, it ain't his fault. I ain't mad at him or that he just said it. I'm just mad that that's all people say about him, bro. That's all journalists ask about him, bro. Or so-called journalists, so-called analysts, so-called, you know, diehard analysts sports fans and shit all they talk about hey yo what you sparred javante davis what's his power like who hits harder out of him and tim zoo that boy say tim zoo got that break you power javante tank davis got that in the night early power it's different levels <laughs> he said get the lights up yeah we got to get up over 100 lights bro but when somebody can do what tank davis can do in the ring talk to me about his ring iq Talk to me about how he set motherfuckers up. Talk to me about how, like, four of his last five knockouts, the motherfucker got knocked out doing shit that he thought was he was having success with earlier in the fight. Leo come, I, I say it all the time, bro, and I would just encourage everybody to go watch film. Leo Santa Cruz got knocked out in the middle of throwing a combination that he was having success with earlier in the fight. Mario Barrio, same thing, got put down. Got put down in the middle of a combination that he was having success with earlier in the night. Rolly Ramiro, same thing. Hector Luis Garcia, same thing. Like, if you go look at the times that people getting put down by him, bro, they getting put down based off of ring IQ, time, and accuracy, bro. Power was the last thing. Because you got to put the shot in the perfect place. You got to see the shot. You got to know what your opponent doing. You got to make the adjustment. Oh, he caught me with that a little early. You do that shit again, it's your ass. And people don't talk about that enough to me. But, you know, Michael Fox doing his thing, whatever. It is what it is, bro. Ryan Garcia, I forgot about him. Yeah. That same left hook, you know, the left hook that hurt Tank in the second round. And then Tank made two adjustments. He threw it again. What did he do? Duck up under, uppercut. Put his ass down in the second round. He tried to come back to the well in the seventh round. Tried to step in with the uppercut. What did he do? Duck up under, body shot. You quit. B-Dog, what up? But anyway, bro, moving on. Let's not act like we're speaking on good boxers. These dudes are boxers to decent boxers. You talking about the dudes Tank Falk, Bama Jeff? You talking about the dudes Tank? You talking about the dudes Tank Falk? Tank for hurt by Ryan. Yeah, he got hurt by Ryan in the second round. To me, I thought he was hurt. Teach. But Bama Jeff, you saying that the only that the, the, the fighters that Tank fought are decent boxers? Oh, okay. They not that good. I got you. If he ain't fought no good boxers, you realize Devin Haney, who's your favorite fighter, got one on his resume, and that's Lomachenko. If the boxers he fought ain't good, and all of them are past their prime, you do realize that, right? Don't make me go down the list. I, I'm not trying to shit on Devin Haney today, but if you're going to try to shit on Tank Davis, you're going to make me do it, bro. I'm in a good mood today, bro. I'm in a real good mood today. Don't make me do this to your boy, man. Dominique, what up? Don't make me do it to him, bro. Don't make me do it to you, bro. Don't, 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 don't. Let's not, let's not start talking about resumes, bro. Cause see, you ain't talking about somebody that's, you know what I'm saying, gonna, gonna talk to you about a, um, a name on the resume. I'm gonna talk to you about when they fought. I'm gonna talk to you about how they look before they fought them. Yeah, that one I'm gonna talk to you about. You, I don't think you wanna do this shit, bro. I don't think you, I don't, I don't, I don't think you want, you want to talk to me about how you fought Jorge Lenares. When Jorge Lenares was 34, 35 years old, way past his prime, already been knocked out multiple times. I don't think you want to do that. 
I don't think you want me to talk to you about Jojo Diaz, bro. Jojo Diaz, who is a fucking featherweight, and the only reason he a lightweight because he a lazy motherfucker and he way past his prime. And he moved up to lightweight at five foot four with a sixty four inch arm reach, all because he want to eat too many tacos and burritos and shit. Uh, you, we don't want to talk about the, we don't want to talk about the, we don't want to talk about this shit, bro. We don't want to talk about thirty five years old Lomachenko, thirty five years old motherfucking Regis program. We do not want to start talking about this shit, man. We don't want to talk. We don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about the fact that Ryan Garcia will be the first fighter that he's fought in his prime since he's been a champion. We don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that, bro. We don't want to talk about for all these decent boxes and, and trash ass boxes that Tank Davis just fought. That Devin Haney's biggest fight is against somebody Tank Davis made quit. We don't want to do that shit, bro. Don't don't make me do that shit. I'm trying not to do that shit. Oh, JoJo smoked. Javier Fortuna in a competitive fight. In a competitive fight. Come on, man. Are you talking about the draw that JoJo got at 130 right before he moved up? You talking about when he looked like shit against Shock Mac Rachmanov? That what you talking about? No, don't make me do this shit, bro. I, I can see. And I see Nick J in the building. I give y'all that, bro. I try to give y'all the resume shit. Yes, bro. Devin has fought. More accomplished boxers. Yes, Devin has the better name on his resume, bro. But don't make me start going through y'all shit with a fine tooth comb, man. I'm trying not to. I'm trying. I'm trying to get at the little Devin, bro. I'm trying to get at to Javante Tank Davis Jr., man. It's only going one way, my way. Hey, what's that song, Tank? That's the little baby. What's that song, Tank? Dad. Hey, Dad. B Diddy. B Diddy. Hey, B Diddy. What's that? B Diddy, Daddy, Daddy. What's that song that Tank had posted? Remember Tank had posted something? He had, it was cryptic. Remember it was like a rap verse, what he posted? Prepare for whatever they sing. What song that's from? What song that's from? Hey, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Bay, can you add that to my playlist, Mickey? I want to hear that. I want to hear that. Let me hear that shit. It's only going one way, my way, seven million. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's tight. <laughs> ooh, that's tight. Let me post it. Don't make me go there, bro. I'm trying. It's Friday and I'm trying. I'm already about one old fashioned in the game, bro. Stop, stop, bro. I'm only one old fashioned in the game. Don't make me. Don't make me do it, bro. Don't make. Don't make me do it. Don't make me talk about the new leg sleeve tattoo that he just got, bro. Don't make me do that. Come on, man. Don't make me do it. Don't make me talk about the new gorilla tattoo that he got on. No, he ain't got no gorilla tattoo. Damn, Jeff. Don't make me do that, bro. <laughs> Don't make me do that, bro. Shout out to David Jackson with the five pieces of the super chat, man. He say, uh, Tank just posted a pick at full strength, but y'all keep it up. I'ma just say a drain tank knocked out Frank <laughs> after the fight. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm so so I'm a yeah, I'm just playing DJ. I hope I know you don't take it serious. I'm just fucking around. You know what I mean? But I got it, but you know, I got it like they come at me though. Nick, like they they coming at me, so I'm chilling. I'm 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 cooking Edgar Belonga for you get in here. I'm cooking him because he called himself the best super middleweight. I sit up here and I say, look, man, it's like 10 super middleweights off the top of my head that you know what I'm saying I think is better than Edgar Belonga. And then Bama Jeff jump off the top ropes on my ass. You know what I mean? He jumped off the top ropes on me. You know, Tank only able to do that against decent to non-decent boxers. On that Devin Haney fanboy shit, I'm like, look, bro, I'm I'm you know. I be overlooking that everybody that Devin fought was past their prime, and I still try to give it to him because he got the better names. You know what I'm saying? He's the more accomplished fighter. I'm, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give him that. But if y'all keep poking the bear, bro, I could. I y'all done seen me do it. I will take a debate that you think is a losing debate, and I'll cook a motherfucker. I'm just trying to be fair. But y'all gonna keep y'all gonna keep fucking with me, and I'm gonna say, you know what? I changed my mind. Tank got the better resume. Let's fucking debate. And I'm gonna cook all you motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna do you all dirty. So don't 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 take me there, bro. Devin Haney has the better resume, but if I get one more lie about Tank Davis's resume, I'm fucking everything up and I'm changing my mind. And when I change my mind, I'm fucking y'all up. And you know I'm fucking you up. So leave that shit alone, bro. Kiro Black, five piece. No biscuit in the super chase. Say not the diddly. Not the diddler did he do. <laughs> What's this picture you talking about? Somebody say he posted a picture at full strength. What is it? What is it, man? What is it? I don't see it. 
What did I say? I ain't see it. But listen, bro, let's get on to this weight drain shit. Listen, Tank Davis is not weight drain. Listen, bro, this is this is why. Somebody, somebody, if you if y'all screenshot it, send that shit to me. Cause it look like he 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 full on Javante Davis deleted that bitch. That shit gone. That shit gone. He deleted that shit. Yeah, yeah. What's up, dang father? Um, but listen, bro, that's cool. That's cool. I hear you. And this is the shit I'm talking about. That's fine, bro. That's fine. But if his resume is mid and your favorite fighter's biggest fight is going to be against somebody he already made quick, what does that say about your favorite fighter, bro? You got to watch what you say. You got to give credit where credit is due. I'm going to talk up Devin Haney. I'm going I'm to I'm compliment him as the youngest four-belt era undisputed champion. I'm going to talk up his fight with Ryan. I'm going to say it's a good fight. I'm going to root for Devin to win. I want him to win all his motherfucking fights so that when he get in the ring with my guy, when he get in the ring with my guy and my guy whoop his ass, I'm able to give my guy full credit for it. I suggest you do the same, Joseph, because you're coming across as a hater. We got Marquee in the building. And somebody just told me we got 60 likes. That was LaRon. We got to get a like check, Mods. Mods, can we get a like check going around there, bitch, please? Can we get a like? Can we get a like check going on around there, bit man? Let's get a like check going. We gotta get the likes up over hundred, bro. They gotta get up over hundred. I know this ain't our usual time slot, and I ain't trying to step on any toes. It's just the time I got. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the content creators. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the content creators out here. But we gotta run these likes up though. Hardcore casual, what's up? Because they probably don't send out notifications. And YouTube, like, oh, this motherfucker ain't never live on this day at this time. He ain't never live on it. And, and by the way, that reminds me, since I am live, I can say it because I know they're going to be live tonight. Queens Boxer Talk be live tonight, I believe. BFTB going to be live like 5, 5 30, man. I think Just Do will be live soon. Y'all go support all them people, man. Go show them some love, man. Go check out KQKC's interview that he did with Samson yesterday. Y'all go check out all of them, man. Just in case for those that didn't get the notification, I need the likes ran up. Where we at? I need the likes to get to, to run up. I need the likes up, bro. But anyway, this weight drain shit that, I, that I'm that i hearing about, man, listen. Tank Davis is a little dude, bro. He a little dude. He just in shape, and his team is too damn good. He got too much money around him, bro, to be weight drained two and a half months out from the fight, dog. And it's like you can't it it's seeming like people can't shit on the fight. So now it's it's some other bullshit, some other crazy shit to shit on, bro. So if if the motherfucker look fit and he look in shape and he look on weight, the motherfucker's weight drain. If he fat and he got a round face and he out of shape and he got a belly and shit, and then the motherfucker's not disciplined and he's a weight bully and shit. I just can y'all just make up y'all mind, bro. Can y'all just do me a favor for my sanity, bro? For my, for my, for where I'm at. Can you just make up your mind, bro? And like I tell Terrence Bud Crawford fans, bro, if you hate Tank Davis, bro, okay, if you hate him, just say, look, knockout, I just don't fuck with him. I give him credit in the ring. You know what I'm saying? If he fight who I want to see him fight, but I just don't fuck with him. So anytime I get a chance to take a jab. Anytime I get a chance to take a shot, that's what I'm going to do, KO. So don't expect no fairness from me. Don't expect truth from me. I'm just here for the jokes and to take a shot. I respect that more, bro. I respect that more. And if you're supposed to be like a content creator that's supposed to be pushing the sport forward doing that shit, shame on you. Shame on you, bro. Cause you you supposed to have responsibility to at least tell the truth. How hard is it to say, look, I don't fuck with that motherfucker, but he in shape. <laughs> I don't like him. I think Devin gonna whoop his ass, but he in shape though. I think he ain't got nothing but power. He ain't got no skills. But this the best shape I ever seen. I mean, it's the most disciplined. He didn't look, what's wrong with that, bro? Why do you gotta make shit up? That motherfucker don't look. No, he look in shape. He the same. His his arms is the same size as Monster Inui. His height, he the same height as Monster Inui, bro.
Walk, he probably he walk around like 138 to 140. That's about right for somebody his size that's in shape. And that means all he can do, all he got to do is focus on his strength and conditioning. All he got to do is focus on his skills, and that's going to make him be even stronger the night of the fight, not weight drain, bro. Not weight drain. They say, I just figured it was Ramadan. That could be too, practicing his new religion. Could be that too. Could be that too. You know, like real Muslims do. They practice their shit. Let me stop, bro. <laughs> Let me stop. You know what I mean? You know, like real, like like people that's really, really Muslim. They they actually they practice their religion for real. Timothy, what's up? <laughs> but uh, he, he he ain't way drained. He fine, bro. He fine. I right? he good. He good. Moving off of that, let's talk 140, man. And the link is in the chat. Anybody want to join in on the conversation, bro? We open panel today, so anybody that want to hit the link, you can hit the link. Until then, I'm just going to cook. Eddie Hearn comes out, and he says he want to make motherfucking Pitbull Cruz versus Super L Matias. I got a problem with that. Kiro Black, five piece. No biscuit in the Super Chat. You want to be realistic while we at it. Tank can still make 130 if he really want to. The only fight, I, before I get to 140, because I heard Linda LB say that shit. Listen, bro, the only fight that I want to see him fight at 130 is if him and Monster meeting in the middle, bro. It ain't no name at 130. It ain't no name at Featherweight where I just like, yeah, I need to see Tank fight him. I don't think none of them are big enough. I don't think none of them are good enough. Like, who at 130? Joe Cordina, I'm straight. Oh, Shaqie Foster, man, I'm good. Lamont Roach? Nah, I'm straight, bro. Who at 126 that can come up to 130? Brandon Figueroa? Nah, I ain't fucking with that. Motherfucking, um. Uh, Bruce Carrington? Not enough experience yet. You know what I mean? Luis Alberto Lopez? No, thank you. He can just stay at 135 and fight fucking Williams or Pater. Or fight Pitbull again if I gotta watch the motherfucker fight Luis Alberto Lopez or some shit. So if he gonna make 130, the only fight that makes sense to me would be Monster anyway. And I want to see Monster look good at featherweight first before I would even still want to see that shit. But if they talking about Monster moving up eight pounds, Tank moving down five pounds, I could fuck with that. I could fuck with that. That way they can't be like, Tank is a weight bully. He made him come all the way up to 135. Nah, bitch, I met him in the middle and knocked, it, knocked his ass the fuck out. If they can get some kind of 130 belt on the line, yeah, fuck with it. Shell says, Bam Bam and Tank at 130. No, not my two favorite fighters. I won't even know who the fuck to root for, Shell. Why would you put that on my mind, Shell? Damn you, Shell. No. Bam Rodriguez and Tank? No. No, I, I don't want to watch that. Number one, they my two favorite fighters. And number two, I don't want Tank to do Bam like that, bro. They my two favorite fighters, and I don't, I don't want, I don't want Tank to do Bam like that. I don't want him to do Bam like that. Let Bam fuck with Junto. Let him fuck with Juan Francisco Estrada. Let him see if he can get Chocolatito before Chocolatito walk out the door. Let him fuck around with uh, if he can get up there, at the, you know, get to one twenty two by the time Monster one twenty two or one twenty six. Let him, let him do that. You know what I mean? Let him do something like that. Not me. I don't think Jesse Bam Rodriguez is food for nobody. He that good, bro. I don't think he food for nobody, bro. Especially he grow into it. You know what I'm saying? He 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 get that muscle going and shit. Nah, bro. He ain't food for nobody. That boy too gifted, man. If he can take they punches, he ain't food to nobody. Um, Kiro Black, five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He said, You want to be realistic? Oh, I read that already. I read that already. Tay says, Bam, way too small. Yeah, for tank. That's that's just bad. But yeah, so if he making one thirty and they and they talking about some some monster anyway, yeah, fuck fuck with me, 
fuck with me because that's gonna show number one i'm a dog bitch i come down and take your shit i'm a dog you ain't got to come to 135 bitch i'll meet you at 130 what's happening and then it'll show a dog and monster anyway and then i'm to the point at first i ain't want this fight and i still this ain't like my top choice i'm out of my i'm out of mindset tank frank martin tank shakur tank loma avia 135 them the fights i'm i'm cool with if he's gonna go to 140 tank devin tank tia Fimo, tank subriel tank gary antoine you know what I'm saying? And then if he do all that and Pitbull still right there, okay, now you can do the tank, the tank uh Pitbull rematch. For everybody asking, I see y'all in the chat. I didn't go live Wednesday night. This is makeup live. We stuck up under 100 and we got 168 people here. I hate to do this, bro. I hate to do this, but I'm stopping until we get 100 likes. I can't, I can't do it no more, bro. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it no more, bro. I got I'm stopping. If you want to keep, if you want to keep the cook going, if you want me to keep talking this boxing, we got to get at minimum 100 likes, bro. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. I know 168 people ain't all subscribed, so please subscribe to the channel. Take my invitation to join the channel as a member. We drop exclusive content for our members every single week. And I also ask that you donate to the channel, man. Hit the super chat, hit the cash app for the hard work. It's Friday. I could be doing something else, but I wanted to make this show up for y'all because I wasn't able to go live on Wednesday. We at 94. I need six more likes. I I, I want to keep cooking, but I need six more likes, bro. Kiro says we had 106. Can anybody confirm that with Kiro? Two cents boxing. What's up? All right, 107. All right, we good. Now, tank at 130 is only one fight there, as I was saying. And I was of the mindset where I was like, yo, for me, I ain't fucking with the fight because it's a lose-lose for Tank. If he knocked the motherfucker out, he was just supposed to. If he lose, then he was exposed. But I'm of the mindset now where it's like, I feel like reasonable people are going to give him credit if he go down to 130 and fight Monster Anyway and knock his ass out and beat him. Especially if Monster Anyway put in work at featherweight first. Like if he go to featherweight, get a belt, show that his power is carrying up, look good at featherweight. Now we talking. Now, now, now we cooking with fish grease. That's a huge, huge fight. Tank got America on lock. Monster got Japan on lock. That shit gonna go crazy. That number gonna go. That that, that shit gonna go crazy, and that be fire, bro. That be absolute fire. So I, if he gonna go to one thirty, and he fighting Monster anyway, I'm with it, bro. I, I I'm cool with that. But me personally, I want him to finish this shit up at one thirty five. I need to see that Shakur fight. I need to see that Loma fight. I wouldn't mind the Williams to pay the fight. If you go on to 140, I name I listed the names already. Them the names, bro. Them the names. Because I feel like Tank Davis ain't gonna get credit no matter what he do. He ain't gonna get credit no matter what he do. If he if he fights Shakur Stevenson, it's gonna be because oh he saw that Shakur Stevenson didn't handle power well. That's the only reason he fought him. If he fight knockout knock out Loma, oh Loma ass was too fucking old. He was way past his prime. That's why he beat Loma. If he fight Williams and Payton, that motherfucker throw a hundred punches, but he ain't got no defense and shit. Tank knew he was stopping. If he fight Devin Haney, oh, he waited, he waited Devin Haney out. Devin was having trouble making 140. Tank saw that he was having trouble making 140. Devin Haney was weight drained. He fight Tiafimo Lopez. You know he crazy. His daddy was in his corner and shit, you know. So he he really was, it was Tank and, and Calvin and Kenny versus T.O. by himself because his daddy can't do shit. So, I mean, fuck it, bro. He fights Super L. Matisse and knock his ass out. Super L. Matisse is a one-way fighter. We knew he didn't have no defense. We knew that he and he was older and shit. We knew that he didn't have no defense. He was trash. Hollow 140 trash. So, he that's why he knocked out Super L. Matisse. He knocked out Gary Antoine Russell. Gary Antoine Russell wasn't ready. You see that Gary Antoine Russell was dealing with everything that happened to his father, and he didn't really have a trainer other than his brother. So Gary Antoine wasn't ready. Gary Antoine, Gary Antoine wasn't ready. It's gonna be excuses no matter what he do. So just fight who we ask you to fight. Give us good fights, bro. And real ones gonna give you credit. That's it. That's all, bro. Because motherfuckers just. Motherfuckers just hate that man for whatever reason, dog. Now, it's some people that are just critical of him. It's some people that are critical of him. But it's a lot of people that hate him no matter what. So, bro, just give us good fights and, and do your motherfucking thing, bro. And if you give us any of them fights, you're going to get credit from me, bro. Win, lose, or draw. I'm going to pick your ass to win. But win, lose, or draw, you get credit, bro. You get, you, you get motherfucking credit. But you ain't going to please these motherfuckers, man. We got not me with the five piece. 
Nope. Like people are legit shitting on Frank Martin right now, bro. People are legit shitting on Frank Martin right now. Big Dog says, no one will say that, KO. You starting to sound like a handy cold. Really, bro? Really? So you didn't hear that Frank Martin was a prospect now? You didn't hear that, bro? You didn't hear that Frank Martin was a prospect. You didn't hear that Frank Martin ain't proved nothing yet, that he trash, that he, he garbage. You ain't hear that? You you didn't hear them say that, that Ryan Garcia was weight drained after Ryan Garcia was eating pizza at the media day workout and tacos. This motherfucker didn't even work out. He catered shit to his media workout and was eating tacos and pizza. And then after he got knocked out, he was weight drained. You didn't you didn't hear that? You didn't hear that? You didn't hear that he weight bullied Leo Santa Cruz, even though he went down to Leo Santa Cruz's weight class. You don't remember that shit, bro. You, you don't remember that, bro. He went down to Leo's weight class and was still called a weight bully. You, we forgot that. We forgot that. Come on, bro. Not me, five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. What I meant was that 130 band will be too inflated, especially against Davis. Bam Rodriguez is my guy. Martinez versus Jesse is the one I'm calling for. Martinez. Who Martinez? You talking about the Argentinian champion? He unifying with Kazuta Ioka. I don't know if I told you. You talking about Fernando Martinez, the uh, the IBL champion at 115 pounds, not me? I guess I can announce it now. I got the information. I was going to make a video on it. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Kazuta Ioka and Fernando Martinez will be fighting for their unified WBA and IBF titles. In Japan. Oh Julio, oh Julio Caesar Martinez. Okay. I thought you were talking about Fernando, the guy that beat uh Ankahas two times, bro. The guy that beat Ankahas two times. That's who I thought you were talking about. But Julio Caesar Martinez, bro, that's such an easy fight for Jesse Ben Rodriguez, dog. I don't know if Canelo will do that to him. I don't know if he'll be Julio Caesar Martinez in that in that position. He may try to get him to fight Sonny Edwards or some shit. But yeah, bam, go back down to 120, uh 112. That's an easy fucking win, not me. That's an easy fucking win for Julio Season uh, Julio Season Martinez versus Bam Rodriguez, bro. That like I don't, I don't mean to be too disrespectful, but I don't, I don't want to call a champion a cherry pick, but boy, that's about as close to a cherry pick as you can get for Jesse Bam Rodriguez. I got all I got everything in the world on a stoppage for Jesse Bam Rodriguez in that fight, bro. Every I, he will he gonna stop that motherfucker. If they put him in there with Julio Caesar, Martin, bro, he gonna stop that motherfucker. But yeah, Kazuta Ioka versus uh the IBF champion Fernando Martinez, I believe his name is, uh out of Argentina, they are gonna be fighting um for the 115 pound unified belt. So if Jesse Bam Rodriguez get this, the winner of that fight could be next for him if he's able to get past one uh Francisco Estrada. Uh, shout out to Anthony Britt, five piece, no biscuit in the super chat. I'm critical of Tank. He deserves credit for the Martin fight. Shout out to Emmanuel Carter, five piece. No biscuit in the super chat. He ain't say nothing. He just showing love. I feel you, Jack. I feel you. I feel you, Joseph. So let me just ask you a question, bro. And y'all do this shit to y'all self, bro. Jesse Bam Rodriguez is a weight bully because he fought at 112 pounds against Sonny Edwards. He rehydrated up to 130 pounds a night of the fight. That's an 18-pound difference. If that makes him a weight bully, what do you call someone that weighs in at 140 and then weighs 165 pounds the night of the fight? A hypocrite. May I ask you again, Joseph? <laughs> May I ask you again, Joseph? You you said this shit. I don't believe in weight bullies, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to use your logic. I'm trying to see where you at. So if you fight at 112 pounds and you weigh in 112, but the night of the fight you 130. That's an 18 pound difference. And that makes you a weight bully. What is it called if you weigh in at 140 pounds and then the night of the fight you 165 pounds? Do you call that a weight bully? Just asking. I'm asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Big Dog Willie, what's up, man? Happy Friday, Pimpin'. <laughs> 
<laughs> Same to you, bro. Same to you. What's good? Hey, what you got? hey uh, man, I was gonna get on your case about this, man. You starting to sound like a, a handy cult member, man. Cause you're trying to say that all the flaws or everything you can't go through is because everybody else and is everybody else's fault and all this other stuff, man. I'm just gonna point it out like that. I mean, you're the homie, but it's starting. You starting to sound like them, man. I don't want to put you in that category. Say that again. I said what now? I just woke up, man. So <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said that um, you're starting to sound like a cult member, a handy cult member, because you're always blaming other people for what Tank does or what he's not doing. And I'm just kind of. I don't want to put you in that category. I got you. I got you. Who did I blame for anything that he's doing right Man, now? Man, you're saying you're saying that people. I just said you're saying people. How can I put this? Uh, you're saying people who hate Tank is always. Um, I'm just saying. Let me hold on. I'm trying to wake up. Hold on. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is cult members, Haney cult members, are only people who criticize Tank in every single aspect. And I, I don't think you should blame it on everybody else. Cause I'm not a, I don't blame Tank for like all that shit. You know, I don't say, oh, I don't give Tank credit for fighting Frank Martin. I think that's a great fight. You know, still Frank Martin, still Doug Shakur, but I still think it's a great fight. Bro, I and think I, you need to wake up because I didn't say anything. I said Tank Davis haters will tell you that Frank Martin is a prospect or that he's trash. They will tell you if he fights Shakur, his haters will come up with a narrative that he only fights Shakur because Shakur looked bad against Edwin or because Shakur can't deal with power. If he fight Loma, they're going to say Tank is fighting an individual who's past his prime. If he fight Devin, they're going to come up with an excuse for Devin if he beat Devin. And I pointed out how they came up with excuses for every fight that he's had most recently. That's what I said, bro. And that's the truth. All that's the truth. I mean, tell me where I'm wrong. Yet. They just say the same thing about every fighter. They say that about Shakur. They say that about Devin. They say that about Tio. They say that about everybody. I don't think Tank is the only person who gets but hated Tank, on like but, that. But guys like Tank Davis, guys like Canelo, guys like uh, Earl Spence, guys like Terrence Crawford, it's a magnifying gas glass because it's more people saying it about them because they're bigger names than those other fighters you mentioned. Okay, so, well, yeah, say- every... Every fighter gets hate. Well, say but, say that. That's all. That's all. Say, say that then. Boy. Say that then. That say sounds. What? what you just said. I just. I thought you were just going on down that path, like well, everybody's hating on them just because. I mean, um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what I say, Big Dog Willie. But everyone knows that the bigger name you are, the more hate you're gonna have. I think that's pretty common. Yeah, but I was I, thinking I that's pretty. That's pretty common sense. Like Jerron Boots in this got haters. Terrence Crawford got haters. Terrence Crawford got more haters because he's a bigger name than Boots. Okay, I thought you were just saying that. It's some people that hate Devin Haney, but Devin Haney don't got near the haters that Tank got because Tank is a way bigger name than him. He has more haters, which is why when Devin Haney fans tell me that Devin Haney is the most hated fighter in boxing, I laugh at that. I, I don't listen. I don't listen to their fans. Their fans are off the hook, but. Uh, all right, man. I need to wake my ass up. All right. Peace. Big dog got to wake up, y'all. He got to wake his ass up. Listen, let's talk about 140. I'm off of all that shit. Eddie Hearn said he want to make Pitbull versus Subriel Matisse. And this is my problem with Eddie Hearn, bro. He's such a liar. And he plays on this clout chasing game. He, number one, He's only saying this shit because Pitbull just got done fighting. Right? He's only saying this shit because Pitbull just got done fighting. Number two. But we know that you already signed Super Real Matias to a three-fight deal, bro. You signed him to a three-fight deal where he is about to fight Liam Perot. Then he's going to fight the winner of Lemons and fucking Richardson Hitchens. If the winner don't duck him. And then the third fight is for either Devin Haney or Regis program, bro. Like that, he, he already signed. So how you going to make the Pitbull fight? And Pitbull versus Subriel Matias is not a cross-platform, cross-promotional fight, bro. What the fuck? Like, what are we doing? What is Eddie doing, bro? Didn't Devin Haney say he wanted that fight? Why ain't you trying to make Devin versus motherfucking Subriel, bro? 
How come that didn't come out at him out? Devin said he gonna bully the bully and shit. I usually bully the bullies. That's what he said. He said he want them. Why you ain't talking about making that fight? They right there on the zone. They both champions at 140. Why you don't want to make that fight? Why you talking about some pit bull shit, bro? He always lying, bro. I ain't fucking with Eddie Hearn, man. I ain't fucking with him, bro. I don't be fucking with what he say. He always got a different agenda. And that's to get... How the fuck you clout chasing pit bull, bro? You clout chasing pit bull crews, bro. In a fight that you know you can't make. You can make the Devin in, in, in Super L fight, though. That fight you can make. Just a thought. Truth, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, KO? I, see you. I don't know if you can say because Devin is lying. Oh, I know he ain't fighting Super L. His fans is in denial. Y'all going to see, though. Go ahead, Truth. What's up, man? No, man, I actually disagree with you on that Matias Pitbull. I mean, now that uh, Pitbull has came, it's just the kind of the fight styles of those two fighters. <laughs> Are I mean I would say pro, uh, cross promotional worthy because that's definitely if PBC puts it on it's definitely cross promotional. I'm not gonna say if the zone does it it is. Just PBC, I, I, I bro I. So if PBC I hear what you're saying. Again, they're not just making got Tim Zhu and Fundora on pay per view, and from all reports, they're saying that did better than expected. So if that was a pay per view event, you're telling me a unification between two exciting consumer friendly fighters wouldn't be? I'm telling you that Premier Boxing Champions is not doing a one fight deal with Subrail Matias and Pitbull Cruz and sharing the money with Matchroom. In a fight that's a losable fight for Pitbull Cruz. They're keeping that WBA belt for if Tank moves up. They're going to keep that WBA belt for Gary Antoine Russell. They have it like the Gary, you talking about fighting styles. The fighting style of Gary Antoine Russell and Pitbull Cruz is just as exciting as the fight style of Pitbull Cruz and Subrail Matisse. It's just as exciting, bro. That fight is not getting Gary made. Does, Gary actually doesn't want to fight for championships, though. So you can't even bring him into the fold. Yeah, he got to prove that he actually wants to fight uh, champions. I'm saying they have options, true. That's all I'm saying. They have options in-house that are just as good that if Pitbull loses to that person, they still have control over him. It's, it's just funny to me how Premier Boxing Champions is always in a position where people want them, hey, man, just sacrifice up your belt. Just... Just set, just sacrifice up your sacrifice up your leverage. You already only got one belt right now. The zone matchroom got two belts at one forty. Top rank got the other belt at one forty. PBC got a, got a belt at one forty as well. You only got one belt at one hundred and forty pounds. You got Tank that can move from one thirty five to one forty. You got Gary Antoine Russell at one forty. You still got um the the Chinese kid um. Uh, this undefeated Brandon Lee. You got these 140 pound fighters. Just give away your WBA belt. Instead of making a fight with one of them, just give away your WBA belt. They want them to do the same thing with Fundora and Terrence Bud Crawford. It's always funny that they the ones that should just make these stupid ass business deals, bro. But I don't see don't make no sense. Bro. I don't see how that's a stupid business deal because look at the upside. You now have two. Uh, two of the belts of the division in an excitable fight that the consumer is going to first off agree you're tapping into a different mm -hmm. market that being the Mexican audience as well I don't see that as a uh, potential lose just because Esau lose he already got a loss against Tank so I mean Super I don't MC see it's kind of three fight deal it's going to take him probably a year to do them three fights maybe a year and a half if you premier boxing champions, you just wait till he's free again and see what you can see what y'all can come to. You don't just you don't just offer them offering them up. You don't offer up pit bull. And you can just wait them out. That I don't see a champion being offered up for unification as just like throwing him to the wolves. Like there's a likelihood he could win and beat Matias and then be a unified champion. And there's a, there's a likelihood that he could lose, and now you just now you have what belts. Well, that's the risk you run into getting into the fight business. No one that's smart is going to do that. Or you don't run that risk and you keep making in-house fights like everybody else does, bro. It's not going to happen, bro. And I don't love side of the streets. Contrary to what you believe, Joseph, I wish everybody was under one house. I'm just I'm just letting y'all know how things going to work out, bro. 
that's why it's going to be so hard for Devin Haney to become undisputed at 140 because if he's going to go over the top rank, they ain't just going to offer up to you. Fimo, you're going to have to sign a multiple fight deal. If he's going to try to go over to Premier Boxing Champions and get that belt, they ain't just going to offer a pit bull. You're going to have to sign a multiple fight deal. You got to sign a multiple fight deal. They'll take risk every now and then in, 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 in divisions and, and shit that they may not care about. Or where they feel like they might they might be able to snatch some up, you know what I mean? Or where they don't have a lot of fighters. But if it's if if it's around the cash cows division, like 154, 168, 135, 140, bro, they're trying to hold on to as much shit as they can for the fighters that they got, bro. That's just how that shit. That's just how that shit gonna go, true. What's it, what I know you didn't come up here for that though. What you come up here for? No, I can't. I mean, I, that just happened. But you got you gotta explain to me how Frank moved out of the prospect bracket like when did that what did he do and when did that happen when he became a top five ranked fighter in the wba when he became a top five ranked fighter in the wbc so being being ranked means that you are no longer a prospect you're a contender by definition yes a contender by definition yeah. who avoided a title shot. Who avoided a title shot? Oh, Frank Martin. Oh, we back on this. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because uh, other than being ranked, I mean, we already talked about how he avoided a title. He avoided they, a title shot. Olympics or what? Move a fighter up and bring them back down and take them to the left and take them to the right. So, I mean, but you said because he's ranked. That he now mm-hmm. is a contender, but he avoided fighting for a title. He avoided fighting for a title to do what? We don't know. Okay. He avoided fighting for a title, and what is he fighting for right now? Nothing. There's been no announcement. <laughs> so what so what I mean, we we can assume or we can presume what he's going to. But there's been nothing. There's been whisperings in the wind. There's would you Would you like to bet? We we can go here again. Would you why, like? Why to you bet keep, that, no, that let's the keep, tank, let's keep the, the tank and Frank fight is happening. Let's keep with the facts of the matter. The fact is, would you like Frank to bet that Tank and Frank is fighting? We don't know that they're fr- fighting. That's a bet on a future. That's Javante not a Tank right Davis now. has confirmed. Javante Tank Davis right has confirmed that they are fighting on his Instagram. I interviewed Javante Tank Davis' Ryan coach, Kenny Ellis. Manny Pacquiao. I interviewed Instagram. Kenny Ellis, and he said that the fight is a go. Kenny Frank Ellis Martin interviewed Frank Martin interviewed on Cigar Talk and said that the fight is a go. He How said, many he more said on Cigar Talk that the fight was a go? Yes. Frank. Yes. Yes. He said that they are fighting. Yes, bro. Yes. I, I, Him I, and Tank have said that they are fighting, bro. I don't remember that on the Cigar Talk. All right, bro. <laughs> they're fighting. Would you like to bet that they're not? I'm just saying, if they are, announce it. Because now you <laughs> announce it. They ain't going to hurt Canelo's pay per view. Announce it. Go ahead. So we can start planning, start preparing. All right, bro. But something tells me yeah. if they aren't announcing, there's a reason for that. So and that fight date keep getting your whole argument later later. Be, So you don't believe Frank Martin's word. You don't believe Tank's word. You don't believe Kenny's word. None of that is any of that an announcement. You need a, you need an official you need an official post. Is, not, is any believe. of that an announcement, bro, Kale? Like we can believe bro. words, but boxers have lied before saying this deal is done, that deal is done. This is happening. Has Tank, has Tank Davis ever done that? What happened to it's time? Has Tank Davis ever done that? Has he ever lied about a fight he got coming up? Yeah, he he's lied about yeah. wanting to fight a fighter. You right? Has he ever lied about a fight coming up? To my recollection, he has not. As has yet. Frank Martin ever lied about a fight coming up? I mean, who cares what Frank Martin was fighting? Nah, we don't care about Frank. Okay. Who, no, I, I said, who cares who I, was bro. fighting? Nobody was checking for a Frank Martin <laughs> announcement. Like, you made it seem like we was, ooh, how I can't wait for the next Frank Martin fight. Attached, well, how come they're not if his name is attached to tape? Why, why, not, why, are, why are they not looking for a uh, Frank Martin fight? I mean, they Shakur was, was looking for a Frank Martin one. fight. Because it was it, it was it was okay when Shakur was fighting though, right? Shakur looking for a Frank Martin fight. Keisha and Davis want a Frank Martin fight. Tank Davis get the fight. Don't nobody want to fight him. Okay, bro. 
I ain't got like whatever, it's bro. Not, don't nobody want to fight him if he hasn't fought anyone. Okay. All right. His resume at 135 is better than Shakur's. Yeah, because he's been there longer. Okay. And it's only better so, by so like you realize, you realize that he by, ain't like, fought nobody. Shakur ain't fought nobody. You tell well, Edwin. I mean, at least Edwin stepped up. I would say Edwin was would be right there with what Michelle Rivera. I would say he'd mm -hmm. be right there. Frank is stepping up too to tank. We don't know that though, KO. I'm gonna take Tank and Frank at their word. You can do and that. I'm willing, I, I, I'm willing to bet that they are. You are you willing to bet? We can say we can say presently presented that is not a fact. Are you willing to bet me? Bet you what? That they are fighting. Next, that they are fighting in June. That Tank Davis will be Frank Martin's very next fight. And Frank Martin will be Tank Davis' very next fight. I am unwilling to make that bet. You say you what? I'm unwilling. <laughs> All right, now. Shawala, what's up? Shawala, what's up? I think Truth will be back, y'all. June 15th, David said it on Cigar Talk. Nah, but Megan Thee Stallion has an interview, bro. Megan Thee Stallion has an interview. I mean, not an interview. She got a concert on June 15th, so so Tank's supposed to be fighting on uh, June 22nd. LaMarcus says, this is ridiculous for real. Carm, I see you to build a salute. Listen, bro, back to the 140 conversation I was trying to have about Eddie Hearn. Why would you talk about a cross-promotional unification when you got a unification right there between Devin Haney and Super L Matisse? When Devin Haney is publicly telling us that he wants to be undisputed, that he wants to go bully the bullies, I assume he's referring to Super L Matias because he was being asked about Richardson Hitchens at the time and Richard Hitchinson's apprehension to fight Super L Matias. So if Devin Haney wants to fight and you got such a great relationship with him, why are you talking about Pitbull Cruz, bro? Hold on, what you talking about, Dang? And he better check in when he touched down who? Shakur got two fights in 135 and got a better name than Tank and Frank. Who? Who's the better name? You referring to Edwin? Y'all do realize Edwin De La Santos lost to William Foster, right? The motherfucker lost before fighting Shakur. Okay, so you are talking about Edwin. You realize Edwin got his ass whooped by William Foster. Who got his ass whooped by Henry LeBron? You re you re you realize that, right? While we while we talking up Edwin and Edwin is this and Edwin is that, the motherfucker lost on Showbox. He lost on Showbox to William Foster the Third, and William ain't no scrub or nothing. I ain't saying he a scrub. I'm just saying how he a better name than Frank. He how? No, I'm not discrediting him, but you putting him over Frank, bro. How can you put that motherfucker over Frank losing on Showbox? Michelle Rivera is better than William Foster, and Frank box circles around him. Make that shit make sense, man. Y'all hold on, my wife calling me, bro. All right, we're good. My bad. We gotta make that shit make sense, bro. And here go, here go, here goes the, here goes the. I think I got KO. Look at this, look at this shit, look at this. I think I got KO, y'all. Look, KO, I got KO, y'all. I got him this time. I promise, I got him, y'all. I pro, I promise, I got KO with this one. Cause see, Edwin lost, and he trying shit on Edwin. Super L lost, and he he be trying to hype up Super L and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got him on this one, y'all. I promise I got him. I got him. I got him. That's how Joseph feels right now. That's how Joseph feels right now. I hear you. It sounds really good. You do realize that the motherfucker Super L Matias lost to he came back and almost killed that motherfucker, right? 
You do realize that, bro. That the motherfucker he lost to, he rematched him and almost killed him, bro. Sent him to the hospital, bro. <laughs> and while we on names, <laughs> while we on names, dang, because I see you in the chat. While we on names, isn't Shakur fighting the motherfucker that Frank already beat? Fuck all that. Nick couldn't do it the first time. At least he had the nuts to rematch him. Why didn't Edwin rematch William? At least he had the nuts to do so. Why didn't Edwin rematch the motherfucker that beat him? Why didn't he rematch the motherfucker that beat him? I guess that loss set too good. It said well with him. He was cool, Lou. I'll take the L. Fuck it. I'm moving on. Who's the better name? Edwin or Fake Ali? Uh, Michelle Ali Rivera when Frank beat him. Michelle Ali Rivera was winning. Edwin was coming off of a loss. Edwin made his name knocking out Jose Rayo Valenzuela. It's the only reason he got his name. Michelle Ali Rivera was a bigger name at that time. Him and Frank was supposed to be like, damn, who the better prospect? Edwin ain't never been in that type of fight. He was a last minute replacement, bro. Like, that's what y'all, like, the motherfucker was a last minute replacement. And what did he do? Came up big, got the stoppage against um, Jose Rayo Valenzuela, who he was put down by. And then coming over of that, looked like shit against Shakur. He ain't did shit, bro. He ain't did shit, man. And he lost before losing to Shakur. Michelle Ali Rivera never lost. And if that motherfucker so cold. Why is Shakur going backwards? Why the fuck is he fighting the motherfucker that Frank already beat, bro? Make that shit make sense, bro. Edwin, Edwin is a good fighter. He a good fighter. And I like him. But we're not going to act like he a better name than Frank Martin, bro. We're not doing that shit, bro. Y'all will do anything to uplift anything that's anti-Tank Davis, bro. That shit crazy to me. Joseph Jackson, just remember Matias mid. If Devin do decide to fight him, you can't talk him up. Y'all be doing stupid shit, bro. Just remember, Joseph, that if Matias is trash, if he's mid, Dank, remember, bro. Remember, Dank. Remember, bro. Like if, if 140 trash, if can't nobody at 140 fight, if Matias ain't shit, y'all just remember that shit. So if Devin do fight him, y'all can't give him no credit for it. You can't give him no credit for it. If he do fight him, if he do fight him, y'all can't give him credit for it. A lot of y'all in that position with Ryan Garcia right now. I talk him up because he a bad motherfucker, and I'm going to give Devin credit if he fight him, let alone beat him. I talk about him like that because he a bad motherfucker. Tiafimo fight him and beat him. He get full credit for me. Y'all shit on fighters, bro. Now you find yourself having a reason and having a ration how you can somehow try to spin it that Ryan Garcia about to be a good win for Devin Haney because you hate so much, bro. Y'all such big haters that you, you, you fuck yourself up and you put yourself in precarious, stupid ass positions that don't work with somebody like me. Now you're trying to rationalize like, damn, I got it. Devin's my guy. I shitted on Ryan for so long, but he's, he's Devin's biggest fight. And I can't just not give Devin credit. How can I give him credit? Oh, I know. I know. Let me say Ryan was weight drain. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. You having to rationalize with yourself because you, you fuck yourself out too many times. No, you can't, Joseph. You can't, bro. Because you said he trash. You don't agree with me. You can't agree with me just if Devin beat him. Come on, bro. Your fanboy skirt showing, dog. Your fanboy skirt is showing, bro. Tuck that shit back in, Joseph. Tuck that shit back in. I'm flaming you, bro. Tuck that shit back in. Your fanboy skirt is showing. You can't give him credit. I can't. But you can't agree with me just because Devin fighting him. You such a fanboy, bro. I can't give him credit if Devin fight him and beat him. Wait a minute. So if he fight him and beat him, then all of a sudden you're going to agree with me. But when he ain't fighting him, he don't agree with me. I see what your ad doing. I see what your ad doing, bro. You, you just, you, you just, you're a hypocrite, bro. You fucking yourself up. 
I'm a, he, he a bad motherfucker, shit. K.O. said he a bad motherfucker, so I'm giving Devin credit. But you said he was trash the whole time. Tell me, tell me that my words mean more to you than your own words about this boxing talk shit without saying it, boy. I know I'm, I know I'm, I know I'm cold, bro. I understand I'm cold, Brian King B. What's up? I understand I'm cold, bro. You telling me that my words in this boxing game mean more than me more to you than your own words to this boxing game, and you ain't even trying to tell me that. But it's so real and so authentic. You can't even help yourself, bro. You can't even help. It. I appreciate you. I know I'm. I, I I know I'm one of them ones, bro. I understand. I get it. I to, I totally get it, bro. I, I totally get it, bro. I totally understand it. I'm gonna give him credit because KO said he was good. <laughs> KO said he was good, so I'm giving Devin credit. No, you should give Devin credit because that's a bad motherfucker. And he a champion. He knocked out every motherfucker he ever been in the ring with. He made six motherfuckers stop on their stool in a row. Six good ass fighters. That's why you should give Devin credit for beating him. But you already done dug your own hole now. You already done dug your own hole now, bro. So you can't do it. So it's over with for that for you. But for 140 pounds, bro, the Eddie Hearn shit, I don't like that. And I keep telling y'all, bro. Devin Haney says he's going for undisputed. Eddie Hearn says Devin's going to drop belts. He's going to drop the WBC. He's going to drop the WBC. Appreciate that, uh, LaMarcus. He's going to drop the WBC, and, and Devin refuted that and said, man, hold on, not so fast. If Devin wants to keep that WBC belt that he has at 140 pounds, he may end up having to fight Sandor Martin, y'all. The only way around that is if he's going to end up actually unifying. And the unification fight that makes the most sense is going to be Subriel Matias. Will Sandor Martin continue to step aside? Will Matchroom, will Eddie Hearn pay Sandor Martin to step aside? Or will they go ahead and just say, Devin, go ahead and exercise this mandatory? Or will Devin actually drop the belt? Here's why I don't believe it's good for Devin Haney to drop the belt. Devin Haney needs to be able to offer something if he's going to continue to move the way that he moves. No long-term deals, two-fight deal here, three-fight deal there. He's going to have to have a belt. He's going to have to have something to bring to the table because he's not bringing revenue. When you sit down at these tables with these guys to negotiate these fights, you got to bring either money to the table or you got to bring hardware to the table or both. You got to have something that they want. They need to either A, want to get your belt off of you so they can have more leverage in that division for their fighters that they have signed to them. Or you have to bring money to the table so they don't really give a fuck if you take their fighters' belts. They don't give a fuck if you take their fighters' undefeated record because they know they're going to make off money off of the event that they put you in. So... I don't think Devin's going to drop his belt. I think it would be a bad move for him to drop his belt because that is his only way to get top rank to sit down with him is the WBC strap. That's the only way he could probably get premier boxing champions to sit down with him is the, is the WBC strap because they're not going to sit down for him because he's some big ticket seller. They're not going to sit down with him because he's some, you know, big name in the sport of boxing. He cannot afford to just beat Ryan Garcia, if he's able to beat him, drop his belt because he don't want to fight Sandor Martin and then say, hey, everybody, I'm a free agent. What's happening? I'm a free agent. What's happening with you? And then go from there. So LeBron Jones says, do you think he will fight Sandor Martin next? Yes. Or is Sandor going to get paid step aside again? And they're going to keep paying him step aside money. They're going to keep paying him step, step aside money. But what's a fight that's worth that for Devin? Is him and Super L. Matias a big enough fight to pay Sandor Martin step aside money? Or do you just tell Devin, look, go ahead and fight this fight, bro. Go ahead and fight this fight so you can get him out the way. And then keep that shit moving. I think the smart thing to do is just fight the fight. Unless you can get Tiafimo, unless you can get Tank, 
you know, one of these big ass fights where it's worth paying to step aside. But if you just not fighting Sandor because you got to fight Subrail, bro, go ahead and and, and let Subrail fight that Limon's fucking Richard Hitchison winner. And then you fight your mandatory. Y'all both exercise y'all mandatories and then you get that shit out the way. And then you and then you go and then you go see what's happening. So I don't know. We'll see, bro. It's just it don't make no sense for him to drop a belt. His name ain't big enough to drop a belt. Belts matter to people who don't generate revenue, Joseph. When it comes to negotiating. Now, when it comes to fights, belts don't matter at all. Just give me the fight I want. Let me learn you something. I've been teaching you shit all day, Joseph. I'll teach you this. <laughs> I'll teach you this. When it comes to negotiating your next deal, belts matter to people who don't generate revenue. So if you're Devin Haney and you're negotiating your next deal, you better have a belt. You better bring something to the table. If you're Terrence Bud Crawford and you're negotiating your next deal, you may not need a belt. He didn't need a belt at 154 to be able to get an offer of Jamel Charlo and Erickson Luke. He didn't need that. But guess what? When he want to be a free agent, he need them belts at 147 pounds because that's the only thing that got him in play to do what? Get a shot at that WBO belt right now. So for fighters that don't generate an abundant amount of, re of, of revenue, yeah, belts matter to them when they sit at the negotiation table. For, for guys that generate a bunch of revenue, belts don't matter. If Tank Davis dropped his belt and said, fuck it, I don't want this belt no more, I'm a free agent, top rank, matchroom, golden boy, PBC, everybody trying to sign him, belt or no belt. If Canelo Alvarez said, look, fuck it, they wanted me to fight Hamid Munguia, I don't want to fight him, I'm dropping these belts, so I don't want to fight his ass, and I'm free, fuck the PBC. The zone, matchroom, golden boy, PBC, top rank, everybody going to try to sign him. That's just business, bro. Now, belts in the ring, I don't give a fuck about them. They don't matter to me. They don't, they don't matter to me. As I tell y'all all the time, Devin Haney versus Pitbull for undisputed at 140 pounds. Devin Haney versus Tank Davis for no belts. Which fight you want? <laughs> Which fight you want? Devin Haney versus Pitbull right now. All the belts at 140 on the line. Devin Haney, Tank Davis right now. No belts on the line. Which fight you want? Which fight you want? Canelo Alvarez, David Benavidez, no belts on the line. 168, zero belt. Ain't put no belts up. Or Canelo Alvarez versus Callum Smith rematch. 168, all the belts on the line. Which one you want? Which fight you want? I notice a lot of people ain't answering my questions. That's okay, though. Y'all get the point. <laughs> you all get the point, bro. Every last one of you get the point. You understand what I'm saying. Makes perfectly good sense. The fights matter, bro. The fights matter. In the ring, give a fuck about no belts. Give me the fight I want to see. Outside the ring, belts matter to people who don't generate revenue when they're trying to negotiate. They get you paid more money because there's a minimum that they have to pay you if the shit goes to purse bid, which is higher than just a regular fight. So it gives you a higher pay. And if you're trying to go get a deal with a promotional company, they're more likely to talk to you if you have a championship belt and you don't generate revenue. If you generate re if you generate revenue, they don't give a fuck about that. Our funny video says Gary Antoine Russell is willing to fight anybody at 140 for his full purse. He should have fought. Since we're having this 140 conversation, Gary Antoine Russell fucked up by not taking the fight with Alberto Pueyo and fighting on his undercard instead. When Alberto Pueyo was about to fight for a championship, Gary Antoine Russell could have fought for that belt that they were fighting for. And he turned it down. He should have never turned down an opportunity to be champion. Stay Danger says, I don't think Tank is drained. It's Ramadan. Mofo's got to cool it. It's just hate at that point. Yes, they, they hating on that young man, bro. Absolutely, positively, 100% 
or hating on that young man. 100%, bro. Get Gary Antoine up out of here. RP Batman, but then Russell's is delusional. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That shit don't make no sense, bro. None whatsoever. But look, bro, I got to run. I got a lot of shit to do this weekend, but I wanted to make sure I did go live and talk this boxing with y'all for a while. So please, man, everybody enjoy your weekend. Channel members, I got more um, prediction videos coming. They all drop first thing tomorrow morning. Um, and y'all have fun, man. Watch boxing this weekend. It's going to be some good fights. So I will see everybody later. Um, and we'll be live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night next week. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.